Hey guys, Valheim training video. I've gotten better at the uh, shield training technique I showed you last time. So, let me show you here where we're at. I uh, need to repair everything. And I'm in the middle of transitioning to silver tech. So, you'll need to modify this technique for your technology level. Um, let's see here. Get this stuff going. Uh, and then I'll show you where we're at. You see I have a 23 minute rested bonus. And that's going to be our, kind of our metric, right? Uh, okay, that's all dropped off. That's good. You might want to take two shields if your shield runs out. So I'm using uh, rank four chest wolf armor, and then rank three, rank three, rank four Drake helmet, and a rank three silver shield. So I've got. You look there. I have 300 durability. My armor factor 79. And again, modify this for your tech level. Uh, be sure to take enough food to get you through the session. Uh, honestly, three would probably get me through. But I'm erring on the side of caution here. And basically, this... You know, I had talked about last time in the training video about how important the perfect parries, perfect blocks. Let's, let's, you know, in terms of nomenclature, let's just say if you use a shield, it's a block. If you use a weapon, it's a parry. So this is a block, but you want to get perfect blocks. And the trick is to get as many skeletons on you. Uh, come on. The jump mechanic seems really buggy sometimes. But you want to get as many skeletons on you. If you remember, I've built this waypoint over here that I call Dojo. Okay, here's training Dojo. Right? And the idea here is to just be near one of these burial chambers that's full of skeletons. Right? Now, initially, this fire was important. Okay, so here's our first skeleton. I always go down the wrong path here. There we go. And we're trying to get four. We gotta herd these guys up here. And you gotta be careful because they'll reset. Oh, and let's see where we are. We're at 63. Right? I thought there were some skellies down here that I could grab. There we go. And we're trying to get four. Um, and we're trying to get those perfect blocks. And you need to get them... But the hard part is to get it configured. It works best with four for me, for my tech level. Come here. See how they want to reset? Yeah, it's really hard to get all four of them. Really hard. There we go. Is he coming back? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get them in this position so they're all in front of us. And we're trying to get that guy's attention on the left. And what we're trying to do is get them in sync. And so what you do is you time your perfect block with the guy swinging first. And you're getting him staggered. And then you see how I got all three of them? And of course that guy didn't, ag didn't aggro. And if I run down there, will he... See, now that one resets. Dang it. That's really hard to do. I'm not going to lie to you. It's hard to get four. I can get seven points of block per rest 
if I can get four. And I, it's really difficult to get four. Let me see if I can sprint down here and get him. Come on, stupid. Come here. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to beat on me. Come on. Come on. Now you got to get him kind of spread out here. You can shove him around. Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Perfect. So now what we're trying to do is... Oh, I need to eat. You can you can do one munchie. Yeah, damn eating animation. So you can... So there we go. Now we got three. We're trying to get it to where we get four. Now see, this guy isn't hitting us. There we go. Okay, so... We get him staggered. Hopefully that'll sort him. There we go. Yeah, not quite. See, now we got two guys out of sync. And you just do this for a rest session. And you should get six to seven points a block. And this is far and away the best technique that I've come up with so far to train block. And these, these perfect blocks are key. I think, I know, I know you get more XP for them. You get more XP for perfect blocks. I sat here and let four wail on me just with regular blocking. And the skill up was, was, it was slow. It was, I think it was half as fast. Um, and the other good thing about the perfect blocks is they save you stamina. And that allows you to load up more skeletons. Honestly, if I could get a fifth one in here, I would. But you saw how hard it is to get four. <laughs> so, you know, if I ever get it to five, I'll make a video. But, let me, let me see here. You can take a look at my... So my blocking 63 and my swords is 62. That's hard to do. You know, it's really hard to raise block. Um, and then I just sit here and drink coffee and watch YouTube videos while I train. Oh, save lag. Do you guys lag that hard when your your world saves? I wonder if we've got a. Uh, I'm out of, this guy can't hit me. I wonder if we have a. I haven't researched it. I haven't looked into the forums and seen if anybody else is reporting. But it seems like as you explore more territory and build more structures, the game gets laggier and laggier. And I, I wonder, because like, you know, I think about games like Stellaris and Master of Orion. Um, they get uh, laggy if you make the galaxy too big with too many planets. I wonder if that's the case with this game. I mean, obviously the world is as big as, you know, they're, they're all the same size. There's no setup parameter that I'm aware of to make the worlds bigger. And God, they're big enough as it is. But, um, yeah, I wonder. So yeah, this is the technique you just set here. I'm not saying it's the most fun you can have with your clothes on, but you know, getting that block skill up is really important. Um, you know, I'm working on silver, which means I'm in the mountain biome, which means wolves. Wolves are, re wolves were really challenging me. They killed me twice, and the first time they got me, it was because I got staggered. And my understanding of the stagger mechanic is when they hit you. Um, hard enough beyond what you can block. You get staggered. And once I leveled up my block skill, I went and stuck about six, seven points on it, and the wolves were no longer staggering me. Uh, I think that's how it works. I need to go do some research and make sure that's correct. But higher block skill is good. If nothing else, as you raise your block skill, the amount you block goes up. Um, and, you know, armor is important, but being able to block is just as important as your armor. Because it doubles your... Oh, it doesn't double, but it, it based on the the, the uh, parry modifier, it increases the damage you do. 
And so you want to get these perfect blocks and perfect parries to get that that big sweet 1.5 or 2 um, damage modifier to your next swing. Ah, I gotta get a perfect block here. Man, what's going on here? There we go. Okay. Now what you're doing is you're blocking and then you're holding the right key. The right mouse button. And just hold through it. Ah, I didn't do that right. See, this guy's not... See, they get out of... They're swinging at you, but they can't actually hit you. You gotta kind of move around and... And do that right. It can be difficult. And I got hit that time. So use as many skeletons as you can handle per your tech, your tech level, and your block skill, and your own personal skill in terms of timing. Uh, but doing this, you'll get better. Uh, I've gotten better at, at getting perfect blocks. Um, like I said, you do get more skill gain. Uh, somebody got through. See, the guy on the right was way out of sync. So it's you try to get that perfect parry on the first guy to connect. And then everybody else gets just a regular block. If I could get it to where I perfect blocked all four, that would be beautiful. Sometimes I can't, I can't get them in sync. You know, it's just a, it's just a timing thing. But I have not found, nor have I seen, a better method for training the block skill. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can use cheat codes, um, but you know, I, 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 I don't like doing that. You know, I'll exploit. I'll be the first to admit that there are some some shortcuts I will take, but I, I, I don't like using cheat codes for skills and gear and stuff because then to me that's it, it, it detracts from my enjoyment of the game. You know. Uh, get these guys positioned here. Ah, shit. Come here. There we go. So, you know, we've already gotten two points. If I could get more quadruple perfect blocks, the skill the skill gain rate would, would be significantly higher. But I'm talking and trying to, trying to concentrate, and I'm not doing a very good job. Damn it, come on. See, I got seven points in my last session. And this session isn't going as well. Of course, because you're watching. <laughs> I mean, if you know of a better way to raise block, by all means, educate me. Um, you know, I want 100 block. And I'm going to get it. It might take me a while. But... When I go to the to the plains, I'm not gonna have those damn goblins and death mosquitoes mowing me down. I I'll die. I've died almost every time I've gone to a new biome. No. Did I die in the swamp? You know the swamp might not have killed me. Dark Force killed me a couple of times, and I've died twice in the mountains to the wolves. I had an alpha wolf run up on me. I made the mistake of getting caught in the mountains at night. And he just... He was a one-star wolf. And he just chewed through my defenses. They attack so fast. Now, since then, I've dramatically improved my armor and my shield and my blocking skill. So I'm I'm eager to face another alpha wolf or one star wolf. God, a two star wolf must be an absolute monster. I've already died to a death mosquito. That was my own ignorance. I didn't know what the plains biome was. Ah, oh, come here, coffee. Mm. Ah, coffee is life. So yeah, this is how I do it. I just sit here and perfect block my ass off. 
This isn't exactly what I'm going for here, but we do have a rhythm, so I can, I can keep this up for a little while. There's three points. We might get six points out of this. And, quite frankly, I don't need the rested bonus to sit here and do this. Um, if I wanted to, I could just wear my shield down to a nub. Oh, now they're out of sync. Now, this isn't good. Oh, there we go. There we go. All four. All right. See, what you got to do is delay off the first swing long enough to get all four of them. There we go. See, you it's just a sorting process, right? And so you're just trying to get all four synced. And it's easier, you know? If you can get them all synced, and if you can delay that block until just before they connect, because you can see how one of the skeletons has a longer travel route to get back into attack position. Now we should get some skill gain. Mm. Screwed that up. Somebody got through. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's getting hard to see. You can see the 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 um, the block angle here for effective blocking. It's pretty generous. I'm afraid to move. I don't want to mess up. And if you need to get out, just hold the block key and just push through them. I didn't do that right. Shit. Yeah, I had them synced, and then I screwed it up. Oh, come back here, buddy. Where, where'd the other guy go? Oh, he got behind me. Yeah, we don't want that. All right. All right. Damn it. Damn it, dude. Now it's all messed up, because this jackass moved too far to the side. All right, let me see if I can fix this gonna have to take some hits as I push through. See if I can do it this way. Maybe I can get them. Come on. Yeah, see, it, it can get really tricky. Yeah, I think it's gotta sink. No, that's not what I want. No. I want back on my wall. I need to stagger him. I need to stagger him. Ah, messed it up. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, for God's sake. Ugh. Alright, there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tricky. You know? Now these guys can't hit me. Um. Uh. Oh shit! All right. This isn't what I want. Yeah. You can see it's. Okay, this is a little better. <laughs> it's really hard to set up sometimes. If I could just get in my back in my spot. This is my spot. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yes. It gets messed up. Okay, better. Yeah, like I said, guys, it's 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 tricky to set up and tricky to maintain. See, 67. But if I go back in the main room, the skelly that's that that spawned to the left, that was so hard to get aggroed over into the group. 
he'll just go reset. So it's it it might be worth it to go deeper into the dungeon. Um might find a spawner and get four skeletons. And see I wouldn't want archers or ghosts or the um that poison skelly, whatever the hell his name is. That would mess things up. You know, it needs to be melee skeletons, you know? And that's why I like to stay in this shallow portion, this early portion of the dungeon. Because I know I've only got melee skeletons. So yeah, this is it. <clears throat> Gotta get some turnips. Gotta eat some snossages. There we go. Working on that block skill. We should get at least one more point. Might even get two. Now that we've got them reset. It's just how long can you hold this, you know? But whether it's one, two, three skeletons... Hell, if you can get five, more power to you. Um, that would be fantastic. But you just sit here and get them in sync. You want to get their frequencies matching. It's kind of like a... Um, a filter. And you're trying to get the frequency of their swings to match up. Get them in sync. And then get those... Those sweet quadruple perfect blocks. Sometimes you have to try to delay your your uh, clicking of the right mouse button on that first swing. Sometimes even the first the first swing gets through. That's not the end of the world as long as your armor can handle it. Because if you don't block it, your armor has to has to absorb it. And so, you know, if the skeletons are hitting you for 20, <laughs> don't let, don't let a damage, uh, don't, don't let it hit through. But if, you know, they only hit me for 1.7, so. And I don't think this would work better with, like, a troll. Because trolls have, they have two attacks. They have a sweep that you can block. And then they have this overhead slam that's a PBAOE. And you uh, you can't block that. And so, you know, depending on what attack they use... See, I think the amount of skill you get is tied to how much damage you block. I think. It certainly seems like... Like, I went and let Nex chew on me. And I just sat there and blocked him. And the skill gain was pathetic. There we go. So 68. Let's see if we can get one more point. I mean, we can. It's just a question of how long it takes. You know, we got a minute 45. And I mean, I'll, I'll let the rusted buff go down. And you can see that as long as you're getting a fair number of perfect blocks... The stamina drain is not bad at all. And and that should inform your playstyle, you know, under normal gaming circumstances. Because you should be trying to get these perfect blocks and perfect parries. Because they really do wonders for preserving your stamina. If you think of your stamina bar as damage potential, right? And so you want to do as much damage per point of stamina you're burning to your enemy. Well, if you get perfect blocks and perfect parries, the block and parry cost less stamina, and then the subsequent attack does a lot more damage. So, if you want to optimize your combat performance, you want to make sure you're getting perfect blocks and perfect parries. Because that stamina bar is literally... Because when it runs out, if you're if you're against something deadly, 
something at your level that really challenges you and that stamina bar is gone, your ass is going back to, to your bed. Yeah, you're going to get a free fast travel. So, getting these perfect blocks and perfect parries. So, see, watch. Um, so, now that I'm not rested, I can still hang. It's just it's easier with the rested bonus. I know this video is going long, and it's not the sexiest content, but I wanted to prove to you to demonstrate that this is an effective technique for leveling block. It may not be the best, but I haven't seen anything better, and I've been scouring YouTube for training videos on block, and the ones that I've watched have been, uh, let's just say, unimpressive. I'm, you know, I want to be diplomatic and nice. I don't want to attack people's attempt at content. But I think this is the best technique. It's the best technique I've seen. It's the best technique I've come up with. And this is completely my idea, so you know, I'll live and die by its by its effectiveness. But I didn't see anybody else doing this. This reminds me of my Ultima Online days. Training with paladins in the house. <laughs> to show you that last skill point gain. We're about a minute over now. I didn't do that right. Well, I got one staggered. There we go. Yeah, it just seems like every time I encounter a new enemy at each tier, that staggers me. If I go and improve my gear and raise my, my block skill, five, six points, they don't stagger me anymore. And I think that's because the amount of damage I'm blocking. Because if you look here... Okay, so see it says 114 in parentheses on block power. That's a function of the shield and my block skill. And so I think you want that number at or above... Eh, world lag. At or above how much damage you're taking from that enemy. And if the enemy can punch through even your block... I think that's when you get staggered, but if that's not true, please correct me. <laughs> and again, I really should go and do some research on that. There we go. 69. Nope. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop here. You can see it's it works even when, when you're not rested. Um, you can see that the trick is to get these four aggroed if you want to use four. Uh, I don't know that I could handle four in bronze. I mean, uh, iron. I don't know. I was using two with bronze, and I was using three with iron. And I just got lucky and got up to four and I began to realize how important the perfect blocks were to the skill gain and to the stamina preservation. I mean, I knew about the stamina preservation, but I didn't know the skill gain was better. And once you can get these four guys synced, you can really get some fantastic skill gain here. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, sh and share. Have a good one.